All right, guys, what's going on? Wanted to jump on and do a really quick video here because thankfully the guys at John Boy Media have hooked us up with what is now a daily ref guess opportunity on Twitter. If you guys haven't followed them already on Twitter, I uh, want to make sure I get the handle right at JM ref guess at JM underscore ref Yes, and they've hooked us up with the opportunity to have daily ref guesses where they send out somebody's baseball reference page and we have to guess who it is. Today's uh, has been posted and I want to try to make this as much of a daily upload as possible for you guys to enjoy and just go take you through my thought process and see how long some of this stuff takes. What I'm also going to do is probably just hold up my phone the entire time or something. And the only other part of it is Maybe you guys just don't trust me or I don't know how else to prove. Like I haven't looked at the replies of the tweet. I haven't seen anything. I have no way of knowing who this is. Uh, and we're going by the honor system, but you know, I'm an honorable guy. So this is the ref guess page. This is the baseball reference page that they uploaded today. And we're going to take a look at it and just start our process. Let's keep our hands probably in the line of sight of the camera more than anything, just to show you guys that I'm not looking anything up. And here we go. So, eighth and rookie of the year voting uh, in 2009 for the St. Louis Cardinals. Primarily a center fielder for the Cardinals in 2009. 2011, the Cardinals won the World Series. So give, to give you guys a little bit of a thought process, or at least how I go through this thought process here, I always try to go and find good teams like good you know or in the case of the 2011 st louis cardinals world series champion teams i can remember who won the world series and then go back and think oh who was on that team right 2011 albert pujols and lance berkman and john i don't know peralta david freeze yadi you know whatever so you can go through it and sort of be like okay who was the catcher for the 2011 st louis cardinals right it's yada okay that's pretty obvious but you get my point Center fielder for the Cardinals, though, in 2011, who then was subsequently traded, it looks like, to Toronto. Interesting. So that's my that's sort of my thought process on where I go through these things. Uh, then you go through, right, Tampa Bay at age 30, playing what looks like now left field. And then before that, he played for Houston. Played left, center, and right. After I go through that sort of thought process, I also, you know, right now, I, I like, I don't know who this is. Uh, but then I look through and look at, you know, stuff like batting average. I look at home runs. Like, is this guy a slugger? So I start to profile who the guy was. 2012, he hit 23 home runs for Toronto. I think I know who this is now. I think I know who this is. I could be wrong, but one of them, one of the names that stands out for me, low batting average guy with a little bit of pop. I know he played on St. Louis. I know he played in Toronto. I don't know about Tampa Bay or Baltimore though. I know he played in St. Louis, Toronto, and Houston. And that is Colby Rasmus. I could be wrong on this. I could be wrong, but I think it's Colby Rasmus. Hmm. Let's keep going here because I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely locked in on that, but I think it is. I th it's got to be Colby Rasmus. I know Colby Rasmus was on the Astros in 2015 when they played, I think it was the Yankees in the AL wildcard game. And the Astros were starting kind of their descent. I know that he hit a homer in that game. I know he was on Toronto for a few years. I just, I don't know. I thought Colby Rasmus, I thought he hit more homers. I thought he hit like 30 plus, you know, in at least a few years. And a center fielder, I know Colby Rasmus is lefty, lefty guy, meaning he throws left-handed and hits left-handed. So when you're a lefty-lefty guy, 
You can only play left, center, or right, or first base, which is what he did. I just never profiled him as a center fielder. He was more of a corner guy, but he, maybe he played center. I know he was hurt a little bit. I know, I know he played on St. Louis, Toronto, and Houston. I know that is 100% for sure. I just the part that's holding me up is the out the center field part because I don't know I don't think he was like fast enough to play center field and then the back end of his career with Tampa Bay and Baltimore I think he played on Tampa Bay when I start to look at Colby Rasmus and think of his face I can see him in a Tampa Bay Rays uniform and a Baltimore uniform but I think we're going to go with Colby Rasmus. I think that's our final guess. All right, I think so. The next best logical thing to do, I'm submitting Colby Rasmus as my final bet, and that's all I have, okay? We're going to go to Google Chrome. We're just going to drop it in. Colby Rasmus, baseball outfielder. Let's take a look at his baseball reference page. Yep, that's him. Okay. I think we... I Okay, I mean, that's him. I just, I don't remember him on, gosh, get these ads out of here. I don't remember him on Baltimore for very long. And I knew he was on these first three teams. So Colby Rasmus is correct. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I want to make it a, as much of a daily occurrence on our channel as possible, along with the instant and direct reactions to the full length uh, ref guest videos that John Boy Media does and Jolly Olive puts together. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Got it right. Got it right. Just struggled through that one a little bit more. And as you guys saw, maybe with my first ref guest video, and you'll probably see moving forward, some of them I look through it, I go positions, teams, years, boom. And I have the guy in like 15 or less seconds. In this one, I had to struggle a little bit more because, God, the outfield part, the center field part really just tripped me up, but guess what? It doesn't matter. We got Kobe Rasmus correct. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.